I wanted you to know that one month ago today, my 12-year-old daughter, Natalie, was diagnosed with that bed. I look online and I can't find much hope. But every time I see your team, it gives me hope. And I know that it's not too late to find a cure for my sweet baby. That is what drove us across the country. That is what got us through the 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. rainy shifts. And we kept moving towards the finish line. Now, many people in the FA community came out to meet us on the road during Race Across America. They would drive for hours to find this spot, and then they would wait for hours. It was hard to predict exactly when we were going to show up. And then we would get to meet them for about five minutes, shake their hand, They would tell us how proud they were of us, and then we had to keep moving. The one that sticks out in my mind is Jack. Jack and his family came out to meet us about 100 miles from the finish line. It was day eight, and I was tired, sore, and crappy. I pull into this time station, I'm on my tracks, and I ride up, and I see Jack, and he's standing there with his little walker and his tiny leg braces, and immediately I started feeling sorry for him. Sorry for the fact that Jack had to deal with that day at such a young age. But then he came up to me. He looked me in the eye with pride and confidence, and he stuck out his hand for a handshake. Hi, I'm Jack. I have a try too. And your team has inspired me to ride five miles in my neighborhood for FA research this summer. That's what drove us the last 100 miles to the finish line. We're eight days in, and what inspired us for the final push was a 10-year-old boy seizing his opportunity to make his move. On June 21st, 2010, oh, there's Jack. June 1st, 2010, Team Farah crossed the finish line of the race across America at 1.10 a.m. <laughs> this was a huge personal accomplishment for me. But even more, it was an accomplishment for the entire FA community. Together we conquered the world's toughest bicycle race in the face of an energy deprivation disease. Now there's no reason why we can't treat and cure FA. So at this point I was on staff at Friedrichs Ataxia Research Alliance and we started building a nationwide series of bike rides to raise awareness and funds for FA research. Ride a Taxia, we've got five locations this year in 2015. And living with a rare disease can be shameful can make you feel ashamed and, and hopeless. 
But Ratty Taxi uh, gives people with that vein opportunity to be proud of their abilities instead of ashamed of their disability. It also invites the public, all of you guys out, to come ride with us and raise awareness and funds for research. You can see that we have a ride in Orlando, in Claremont, actually right outside of Orlando, not too far from here, November 1st. I want all you guys out there riding with us. I know a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of you guys have ridden with us before, and I want everybody out there. It's, it's a whole lot of fun. We have awesome food at the end and a huge party. And um, last year we had 450 participants and we raised $140,000. So it's just a whole lot of fun. I want to say a little bit about the Friedrichs and Taxi Research Alliance too. So I'm on staff at FARA and our main mission, our only mission, is to treat and cure FAA through scientific research. 